with Hurricane Irma. Boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? After our 950 mile sail from Panama to Roatan, Honduras through active pirate waters, we were finally able to drop anchor and enjoy these islands known as the Bay Islands. Clearing in was very straightforward, but remember that all of the crew have to go to immigration, not just the captain. We cleared in at Coxon Hole, which was free of charge, then made our way to French Quay. French Key is a beautiful, well-protected anchorage with its own little water park and small marina. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? You wanna go to the beach? Marty, you wanna go to the beach? You do? You wanna go to the beach? That's why, you wanna go to the beach? You wanna go to the beach? It's also here that we welcome back our favourite Navy SEAL, Ben. How does it feel to be back, brother? Oh, it feels great to be back on the boat. It's always fun coming back and I have never been to these parts of the islands before. So, stoked to check them out, check out Guatemala. No, I always, I miss the boat, you know, it's so much fun to be out here. Like today, it's a perfect day. I mean, you can't put a price on this, this is perfect. Our next stop was the appropriately named West End, which is a popular dive destination. It is a very well protected anchorage, except when the wind blows out of the north or west, so the forecast looked perfect for us. Take another look at us and our differences. Look that grin, it helps us fall in between. Why is it so hard? When there's old scars Take another turn with me More and more reckless in this thing. <laughs> I thought it was coming straight into the solar panel. <laughs> we both think alive, yet we seem to buy it. Parting is difficult, greeting is just a charm. West End is a thriving little beach town littered with well-priced shops and bars. But we were here mainly for one thing, diving. And for Shara, who better to have as your diving instructor than the frogman himself? Was that, are you excited? Yeah, super excited. Dive yep. 101. So you've oh dived once before? A long, long time ago. How old were you? Like under 15, I really? don't remember, yeah. First things first, the most simple is gonna be your mask. For girls, one common thing is because you guys typically have more hair, other than couch potato over here. <laughs> Alright, so now we can see what we're doing when we're down there. Okay, so this is a VCD, buoyancy compensator device. The important things is now what, what, what can go wrong down there. The, the most important thing when it comes to dive, diving is to breathe, okay? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be watching you really, really closely when we're down there, so don't you have to worry about that. So this, this is your regulator. Uh -huh. So let's talk about how this thing works right now. So we're going to set your gear up for you, so this is just a crash course. When you put your mouth on this and you suck, it automatically turns on and air is going to come in. Like I said, we'll probably stay around 30 feet because it's where the water is warm and the best light is. The only real danger is like we talked about is AGE, which is an 
our arterial gas embolism. And I don't want to fledge you with too much info because I want you to focus on the important stuff. That's going to be okay. Hey, let's go up. Okay, mm -hmm. you ready to go down? Let's go down. And then you just turn calmly to the guy next to you and you just go like this. And that's, that's the, the, uh, the hand signal for, I'm out of juice. Give him an octopus and then they can breathe again. No problem. Easy. Yeah. And then when we get up top, I'd make fun of you for smoking all your air. I think that's about it. If you have yeah. this too low, when you put your head back, you'll slam your head in the back of this and it hurts. You don't want to crank them too much, okay. right? You just, it's hand tight. Oh, wow, yeah. 3,100 PSI. Now, that may also, because they just got jammed, that air might actually cool a little bit and then decompress a little bit. Anyway. Thank you. Have fun. We're not back in five minutes. Just wait longer. Like there was this one fish which was literally like this big and it was grey. But um, I think I'm hooked. Oh, one other thing I forgot to tell you is um, as we were sailing from Shelter Bay to um, Roatan, Honduras, uh, we gave Honduras and Nicaragua really wide. We gave it 120 miles as we were sailing here. Quite a few people were like, oh, that's ridiculous, you don't need to go that far out, but we decided to do that anyway. When we got to Roatan, there was a report that came out of a boat that um, got boarded by pirates off Nicaragua at pretty much exactly the same time as we were sailing north, they were sailing south from, Hondur uh, from Roatan. So we were crossing paths, but they were 35 miles off and we were 120 miles off. They got boarded by four boats, 21 guys, they stole pretty much everything. The couple that were on board locked themselves into the boat and the pirates or fishermen or whoever they were couldn't get into the boat so they stole the chart plotters, autopilots, the dinghy, um, all the wind instruments, everything that was, even if it was bolting down they stole it. They didn't have any guns but they had like machetes and, and tools and stuff so. I think they were fishermen, just opportunists, and saw an opportunity and they pounced on it. Very happy about the decision to go wide there, and I'd recommend doing so if you're coming around that Honduran Nicaraguan corner there. Very active pirate territory. I'm glad we made it here in one piece. Our next stop was the island of Utila, which is famous for its incredible diving and is also renowned for its party scene. I don't know for how long. I'll get to hold your hand. <laughs> Just kidding. In the darkest of nights, I will try. I will try. I won't lie. It's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't you worry. I will stay here, I will stay here And as long as my heart beats like a drum Then I won't back down Another busy little town filled with an excitement and energy that we hadn't felt since Bocas del Toro in Panama I know that we will fall 
but our time on Utila was short-lived as we were racing the clock for Shara to catch a flight, but also eager to haul Pale out in Rio Dulce, Guatemala and start some major repairs. So we sailed out of this beautiful piece of paradise on the home stretch towards Pale's new home in the shipyard. I will try to do my best until the day that I die. I won't lie, I won't lie. It's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here, I will stay here. And as long as my heart beats like a drum, Getting here is the issue. Um, we've got to sail through some pretty active pirate territories. So, give everything a wide berth. We gave it 120 miles. We're sailing from there to Rio Dulce, and there's pirates on the mainland there as well, apparently, at a place called Punta de Sal. I think that's where they're based out of. We're doing our best to stay away from these really active areas. Give everything a wide berth. I think the pirates are coming to attack us. We're still pretty close to the coast of Honduras, so just going to still be a little bit aware of our surroundings and there's just a light out there. The pirates, so close, we're about 60 miles away. Woken up in the middle of the night because there was one boat coming towards us um, with its lights off, and then it would turn its lights on, and then it would turn its lights off. So we were a little bit suspicious about that, but we had our lights off, so we just kept sailing, and they ended up turning away. I'm not sure what that was all about. Pretty much made it to the bar, so let's get over the bar, the sandbar that is. There. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've been working really hard on my drone footage and trying to edit it to the beat and uh, make it a lot more smoother for you guys to watch. Um, hope you can notice a bit of a difference. Um, next week we've got a really interesting episode. It's where we go up the Rio Dulce River in Guatemala and we finally haul Pale out. So it's a big episode. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. And uh, have a good weekend, guys. See ya.